Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. As you can see the um, piston barrel head um, has turned up. I've just spent a few hours cleaning them up, cleaning the ports up, doing the uh, inlet, making sure that um, all the ports are chamfered. Not the best barrel in the world. Um, it's got diamond make on it. It's Indian, um, relatively cheap, and it should do the job. It should give you a, a reasonable amount of performance without spending, you know, thousands of pounds on it. I mean, it, the kit can be put on afterwards if somebody else um, thinks this is too slow, etc. Um, looking at the transfer ports, um, I don't know if this is based on an SR kit because the the ports are slightly mismatched. Um, not because I don't know how thick the um, the aluminium um, jacket is around the um, the centre uh, bore. In effect, I don't know how much to I can drop these down. And the last thing I wanted to do was put a hole in it, so I erred on the uh, side of caution and um, basically just took it off, cleaned up the ports, cleaned up the inlet manifold, which is here made sure it was nice and smooth and obviously the contours line up with the inlet manifold um, the exhaust uh, manifold is quite big um, it's 42 mil clubman size so you know there's no with a 22 mil on it it should should go okay I'm, I'm quite looking forward to seeing you know what the performance is on it to be honest but uh, all I've done is I put the piston and barrel in just to check where top dead center was um, and and the squish etc and uh, as it's below there I think that's pretty good we've got a GT type head gasket on going on there so it's the thin metal one and the base gasket is a um, is a fabric type one so um, it should be all right I've just put some WD-40 in there just to aid it going up and down because this is probably the first time that the uh, the pistons met the barrel I haven't sized the rings yet. Um, what I will do is I'll show you how to do this. I just need a wipe. Um, but what you're after is if you put the the rings in the bore, like so, and take them down. Use the piston, take them down to their level. You're measuring the gap when they're closed, and you're after um, point zero two of a millimeter which is virtually nothing to be honest with you um, the gap in them isn't isn't looking because they came in the barrel so did the piston in the when I got the kit I've had it a couple of days now but I've been busy with work etc I don't know if you can actually see the gap there there isn't a great deal of uh, a gap I might have to um, file you just take a little bit off the edges the two dots which you see when the piston comes up let me just turn it around so it's on top dead center there's two little black dots there they're where the um the pins are or pegs where they go into the open end goes into them and um as long as that gap's not too tight all you get if it's too tight is these rings all um start seizing on the bore it's same as if the piston was too big that feels quite good actually it's going going quite nice it's just got a a layer of um, WD-40 sitting all around it at the moment I've got to clean it before I put it on properly anyway but uh, let's get that barrel off and we'll have a look at um, these rings fitting them and testing them I would pull the barrel off like so and because the camera's in the way I'm just going to take the um, the wrist pin gudgeon pin out and I'll put the uh, the piston in the ring show you what uh, how to do the ring so right so what I'm going to do now is just put one in at a time so you just put it in And then you use your piston to take it down about 15 mil. Just press the piston in. That's fine. And there is a little gap there, so I'm just going to get my. 
so 0 0.2 so I think I've been saying 0 0 0.2 but it's 0 0 0.2 I think mine only go down to yeah they do 0 0 0.05 is that the smallest yeah I'm just going to try and show you if I can get it up in and pull the camera back a slight bit and it's on the bottom that's my point two and it goes in and it's being pulled so I'm quite happy with that that one's good let's take the other one and do the same obviously keep the uh, the rings themselves clean <clears throat> Because any, any dirt on the outside edges you put them in will just make the, the gap wrong. And again, I'll get the piston and take it down a bit. That'll do. And again, straight in, no problem at all. In actual fact, that one's a little tad tighter. So I'm going to open that one up a bit. Yeah, the top one was fine that one is a is a, just a tad tight so what i do is you can use a file i use a bit of wet and dry paper and just be very very gentle with it obviously sod's law as soon as i cut away within five seconds uh the next one's done it so we've got i'm trying to lower, line up both which might be mission impossible. They both pushed against each other. And I feel a gauge through both of them. It's actually that bottom one is not totally in line, but there's the feeler gauge perfectly in between both of them. So I'm happy with that. The rings can go on the piston now. And to do that, which is probably on every single how to do book ever made you just open up them with your thumbs you're looking for the rings and just literally take your time and just pull them out and over on the ends don't push them don't use anything too hard because these can be very brittle and like they've done there they often go into the the one before it so which is a nightmare but uh hey ho if i just go back with that one i'm trying to show you uh what i'm doing without going mad so again push them two with your thumbs they are quite sharp and it should open out and go around this is another thing as well you do within your body and it takes you seconds there's a lot of this camera lock that does get in the way so let me just do that against my body take it back a bit because i've got it in the rings in the grooves again right i'll open again god these are sharp Right, so I've actually gone too far, but it can just slide back in. And then it turns round to where the piston peg is, which is up there. Um, that one. Oh, so they would press in against that pin when they're when you'll put them in. So we do the other one, which hopefully won't be as bad. So it can't go too far in. see what I'm saying it's taking seconds to do and then again just make sure it goes in where the rings are the pin and we've got our two rings in there what I tend to do as well is make sure just look on the crown that you haven't scratched a, a groove into it <clears throat> excuse me because you don't want any hot, 
high spots. That's why you need to run in a two-stroke engine if there's any high spots. They've got to work their way down. Even just being in WD-40, you can see where it's been rubbing on a few high spots in the barrel. Where it's been honed. So what I tend to do as well is um, just put the blowtorch on the um, piston for a second before you put the wrist pin in. It just you can use water, hot water in a cup, and just let the, the you know the the holes expand slightly, and that and it should push straight in on a brand new uh, piston. They tend to be very very hard to push in if they're very loose. Mm, get me wondering if that's any good or not. Right with this base gasket again because it's a gasket and it's sealing. I'm going to put some flange. Um, gasket sealant on it I'll just bring that up and back through and these these ports here oh, sorry these ports here are standard even though it's a 185 there's no need to take any um, extra material off and uh, if you've watched the the guy from I think his name Dan from Scooter um, magazine he's done a video with a guy called Daryl Taylor who's actually opened these out and not opened them out and there's no difference apparently so I know I've been doing it I'm guilty as everybody else of uh, continually you know matching the ports and uh, I've matched it to that gasket anyway and they, they're like I say they're bog standard so uh, there's nothing bad to uh to go wrong there they're all matched up so i'm just going to put some um block tight so you put some on the the actual engine itself i just noticed there's a there's a bit of no it's not it's just dirt i thought it was a bit of old gasket it might be a bit of old gasket but uh it should have been cleaned off these are new studs again double stud uh, nut method to tighten them in and don't go mad tiny bit of loctite medium on them just to hold them in what i'm going to do with this one is i'm going to put the gasket seal on the gasket itself because we need to seal around and make sure these are all sealed I'm just putting some on on both sides and then just use your your thumb and your finger to to pull it around some more on this is really good stuff this I really like it like I say I've built lo loads of engines with this um, and uh, touch wood none have leaked when they've been tested so got to be something in this stuff I mean they shouldn't they shouldn't leak anyway with the uh, the gaskets in place if they you know if you're using new gaskets they should be perfect so I'm going to carry on with this make sure it's make sure it's around the holes Because that's where, it, if it's going to leak, that's the weakest point with the gasket. Anywhere it's going to leak, it's going to leak there. And I'll just turn over and make sure this side's done. And then I should wipe my hands and put this gasket back on. of course obligatory isn't it um where are we going that way sorry i'm upside down and the wrong way around let's push it on sure crank shafts through and push it home there we go get me rag and my hands are wipe. I just cut there because I couldn't find the, uh, the cigarette lighter, so I just put a bit of heat 
Hogy az már ez a mi? And start putting the wrist pin in, it should just slide. What I'm going to do as well, I'm just going to put a bit of WD 40. bearing and then put arrow down of course I would put the wrist pin in the wrong way but oh. arrow down I always like to push them from that way but whatever if you push the wrist pin in slightly like that it should then go into the crankshaft like that is never force this like I was saying to you before that should push in really nice thumbs uh, strong enough to do it I can't stand doing it the opposite way but whatever and what I use as well is I've got an 11 mil socket just to push that home nope she's not pushing home going to do is I'm going to put just a tad more heat onto it see how much easier that was where it won't go too far push it back what you're supposed to do is put a ring in um, sorry a circlip to stop pushing against it but uh, we'll be all right I'll just push that back a bit in actual fact let's get the circlips and put them in and we've got something to push against then haven't we These are the wire type that you uh, use a pair of pliers or a screwdriver on and they go in the groove on the piston and home long nose pliers should do that yep What I do as well, as you've seen before, is just make sure that it's in and it's home. Now if we push the wrist pin back in from this side, against our body, I'll have to come round unfortunately. Move in the way. But, uh, it just needs moving in a tad. A bit more than that, that's it. And then I'll do the same on this side. those pliers right that's in and again as I say just get the, the circlip and just turn it 
and then I'll put them in the bottom anyway. That's fine. Yeah, that's in. Just moved it around, I want it back a bit. Then we get our cylinder. Again, they're still oiled up from the WD-40, so just take the piston back a bit. And put the barrel down. And I'll probably have to move you around to here now. What we're doing now is we're pushing in these rings so just put it in slightly in and then where the two ports are push it from there so from there and the other side make sure it's seated this one again i'll move you back around there because it's in place you know what I'm doing anyway, so. It's making an easy job, a nightmare again. Right, one's in. And the other one is either there or there. there it is. Made a heavy work out of that, I'm afraid. So just bring the, the piston up the ball, barrel back in, sit, and we'll spin it around towards us a bit more. And because this is the first time the rings have been on, just take your time pushing it up and down the barrel. thin one on and then we need our head a spark plug to the top which you should know if you've done any engines before if not that's where it goes on some of the racing engines it can be center and then we've got our four washers wavy washers Again, I'm just checking to see where the uh, where the um, numbers are on the uh, thread. I'll put that one in next. The long one goes bottom right. Sorry, bottom left as you're looking at it. That holds your cowling on with the other two screws on the mag flange. This engine will start getting a bit heavy now, and we're putting bits and bobs in it all the time. Right, and the last one down there and I can see the link where's the long there's the long ones there and that's it it's all to me again and what we need now is a 13 mil and um, <clears throat> the torque wrench needs to be set to about 13 or 14 pounds per square inch just to tighten that down so I'll get a 13 um, at the socket set and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to lightly do them up first it's already out right well, I've got my torque drop, um, wrench ready so all I'm going to do is just loosely tighten up these in a crisscross X pattern
castings a bit on there. There's, there's the sort of things that the Indians let themselves down with. last so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the bottom that one Just a shame that won't go on in it, saving a lot of hassle. I've used another socket from another set, so that's on. This the bigger version of that I was looking for. That I tidied up. This is the problem when you tidy up. That's done. Done. Double check that one. Yeah. What I'm actually going to do now is I'm going to put some three in one oil into the barrel and the top of the piston. Just lubricate up, put a dab in there as well. It won't be started for a while. Uh, <clears throat> a few um, M7 studs that I've got of different lengths. Let's just see if we can get this down a little bit. I don't know if that's going to be long enough. Because the nuts with an eye locks on are quite deep although we have got the others so uh, I would say we need it just a tad longer than that one these are all inner ones and they're the same as what I've got so no they're not the shorter so we're gonna run with that one I'm gonna put the two nuts on it Double nut it home. So it's nice and tight. Again, just put your spanner on one and on the other one, tighten one against the other, and then just screw it in. It won't go anymore because it's aluminium. Again, don't remember, don't forget that you can't go too mad. That's probably in as far as I'm going to be able to take that. And I just need to make sure that the thread's clear. We've got our gasket to go on as well, don't forget, so. And again, some gasket sealer, so I'll just try the top one. Yeah, that's fine. And then we'll put the bottom one in. Again, one not on. And the other knot. Tighten one against the other one. So much easier with a socket set in it. Oh, 
Alright, they're tightened. And that's about as far as I'm going to go with that one as well. So I'll break that again. Again, we we need the um, the sealant on there. That's come out of the gasket set. So. I can stick all them back in there. And I need the gasket sealant on there again. I did think it actually needed some, yeah it just needs a bit of trim with a knife. I need the sealer on again. Again, on the inlet gasket, both sides. Make sure it's around the holes again because that's where we need it to seal. We need it seal everywhere but the holes are, are where it's going to leak if anywhere. Same with the uh, base gasket on the cylinder. Right so I'd say that's a nice portion. And it should go on like so and that's that's quite good actually I'll, I quite like that yeah so I've got no restriction on the inlet there while I'm doing this as well the piston is down so if you drop anything in if you drop anything into the cylinder it's just here it can't go any further than that that's just a, a tip again because you don't want it inside the uh, cylinder, anything really, especially metallic. So we're going to put our. And again, there's no no real reason to go mad with this. That's me eleven. And just. Like I say, liberally tighten them down and then again do your eighth of a turn when they're locked off. That one's quite tight. And there, and an eighth, eighth of a turn, eighth of a turn, and they're basically level with there anyway. So if you want to, you could pull the flange um, gasket stuff off. What's the point? Um, what I have got is two nuts. Uh, sorry two washers two flat washers and two nuts to put on the underside which these are exhaust nuts they're brass and they go on the studs underneath which <clears throat> if I turn the engine over bring it a bit closer Side, they go on here so what I'm going to do is double nut these in uh, put the gasket on and just leave these on loosely at the moment um, I'm probably going to put a 42 mil clubman on I mean it's quite a big exhaust port they've set up what I probably should have done was checked all the uh, port timings but it's a kit so it's supposed to be as good or as bad as anything else to be honest with you so we'll we'll see when we put it together anyway whether it's uh rubbish or good so i'm just going to put them nuts in on the studs and i, I will use the second one of them let's run that up a bit Enough. 
What I also do as well with the exhaust is put gun gum both sides on here because this is another prime candidate for leaking and uh, you think there's something wrong with the engine when it's just got a leak from that gasket or the flange that go bolts up against it. Another Achilles heel with a Lambretta. I'm right, just going to do them a little bit more. That's fine. Take that off now. They're both coming together, believe it or not. So that one's in. And I've just got to do the other side. And like I say, at the moment, um, we're not ready for the uh, exhaust anyway, but it will go on at some point. As I say, probably a 42 mil Clubman. Whether it's an AF or a KG, um, KBs, aren't they, or whatever. I've, I've used them all in the past and they've been pretty good on a standard 200. So that's what I'm aiming for with these, some sort of uh, similar performance to the 200. Obviously it won't be as good as a 200 because it hasn't got the uh, the CCs etc. But um, you really, you know, if you want to get 200 performance out of a small block, it, it's you're buying a, a mega expensive kit. You're not buying a kit for a couple of hundred quid like I've done. By the time you put everything in, you know what I mean. So oh, that's in enough on that. Ten more, and I'm just going to use the. The socket to get that hopefully the battery will last long enough i've just got the warning come up i'm just hoping it lasts until i get these gaskets on anyway and i'll change the battery then for the next video but uh, right um let's see which way it goes That way by the looks of it and we need a flat a spring and a brass on there and the same on the other side a flat a brass and a spring And because our pistons down nothing can get in there again so always try and leave your piston on the uh, bottom dead center or thereabouts as long as it's covering the ports right well that's our cylinder in head on studs on inlet manifold on and i'm quite happy with uh, what we've achieved today I've put a bit more into it than you've actually seen, but hey-ho, no big deal.